All right, so I'm going to be showing how to open up and disassemble this Lenovo ThinkPad T590. All right, so right there's the model. All right, first thing we're going to do, close the screen, flip it over. If you're wondering, there's a little hole here. This is kind of like a battery reset. If your computer's having issues powering on, try um, using like a small paper clip, fold it out, and then just press and hold that button. You should feel it click. Hold that for about 15 seconds or so, and if you're lucky, that might get it to turn on. Anyways, we're going to be removing the screws from the bottom here. All right. This customer was actually having issues. It wasn't turning on. I actually press that and it's coming on now. So anyways, we're going to open this and take a look inside. I'm just going to quickly show the components inside because we don't really need to do anything else to this, it seems. So let's go ahead now and do this. Also, keep in mind this... I don't know if it does reset the BIOS. It might, so it might take a little bit longer to power up than normal. Um, it did take a little while for the computer to power up. It looks like all these screws actually stay held in place here, so you don't actually have to physically remove them um, because I don't think you can unless the rivet gets messed up. All right, so now we got to take this cover off. This one might be a little tricky. I get my fingernail along the gaps here, and then we got to just try and find the clips and pop it out. So I'm going to push with my thumbs on the back. And the reason why I'm opening this is because there's kind of some dust buildup here, so I kind of want to clean that out. Okay, um, let's try and go from this side here, from the back, and we're going to work our way. You can see I can work my fingernails in there and then I can push with my thumb back here and pull with my fingers and it's opening. All right. Okay, you can see it's opening. Sometimes these clips get stuck, so you might have to undo the screw a bit more as you kind of pull on it. Okay, make sure all the screws are undone. Looks good. Okay, so we're going to now go down the side because we got this, the back out. Okay, and we're going to go around here and try and pop these up. Okay, and just go along and continue popping it out. All right, it's almost out. On We got this side out, so let's go ahead and go to this side. And same thing, just pop it up. Okay, make sure you're going between the bottom cover and the um, palm rest area. Okay, and I think we got most of it out. So... The front, I don't know if I can pop it out, but we did get most of the sides and that, so you can see it's kind of like wobbling up and down. Um, but it does still feel like it's stuck somewhere, so I guess let's continue moving down. Oh, actually, did it come out now? Um, more of it came out, but not completely. So sometimes what helps is you grab the cover and you kind of wiggle it forward and backwards while you kind of pull on it, and you can see it came out. So basically I was wiggling it like this, as I was pulling up on it and it popped off. So here you go, this is what it looks like. It's a little bit dusty inside, but not too bad actually. Oh, I lied. Look at the fan there, <laughs> that's pretty bad. Okay, um, so let's see what we got inside. You got this USB port here with a um, removable connector there connects to the motherboard here. We're just doing a quick look, okay? We're not really gonna be taking this whole thing apart. Here's the model number for the battery, L18M3P71, okay, L18M3P71. Then you have these other model numbers, ASM part number, FRU part number. If you can't find it with that model number, hopefully you can find it with those. So I'll give you a better close up, there you go. And yeah, this battery is a little bit tricky to get out because the connector doesn't really have anywhere to kind of grab. You'd basically have to um, grab as close as you can with the wires and you kind of just like wiggle it as you pull back. So side to side and that will slowly like wiggle the connector out like this. Okay. Again, I'm going to leave that as is. Here you have the CMOS BIOS RTC real-time clock battery here. Make sure if you get a replacement that you plug it in with the right wires to the right um, side. Red wires are going up this way and the black wires going down towards the base here or the CMOS battery. Okay. Um, I don't know what this JNFC1 uh, connector is for. I'm guessing it's for an NFC reader or something sensor in here. Okay, um, you got this little cable for the touchpad trackpad going up here, it seems. Um, this cable, oh, that's for that USB thing. I'm not seeing where the keyboard and mouse and trackpad connectors are, but 
I'm assuming, did I say this is the touchpad? Well, I'm not taking out the batteries because I don't want to mess with it again since it's working. It looks like there's one slot for RAM, but um, I'm assuming the other slot uh, is non-existent and is just built in. And the way, the reason why I say that is if you look at the gap between the motherboard, there's like almost no gap at all there. So it's pretty much impossible to fit one of these slots on the bottom. Okay, you have the M.2. This looks like a PCIe, and, well, wait. Is this SATA? Mm, no, it's PCIe NVMe. You can put a full-sized one. Uh, basically, you remove the screw. It pops up slightly, and you can pull it back. Okay, we have this slot here for a wide area network card. I don't know, sometimes people told me you can put another SSD in here, but I'm not sure what type. Um, and I don't really mess around with that, so I'm not sure. Okay, um, you got the rest of these ports are all soldered to the motherboard. Here you have one of the connectors that goes into the screen. It has a metal latch that you do have to flip this latch up. So if you're going to mess with, uh, or if you're going to disconnect it, you do have to flip this latch up. I usually just use my fingernails to flip it up. But uh, be careful with this connector. If you're going to mess with it, make sure that you disconnect the battery first. Open up the laptop and press and hold the power button for at least 15 seconds. You got the wireless antennas here. Wireless card is built into the motherboard, so you can't replace it. Um, to remove the antennas, you go from the tail and you pop it up. I don't want to mess with it because sometimes the solder for these is really weak and it breaks. So, yeah, don't take that out unless you really need to. <clears throat> you got the speaker bar here. Plugs in right there. You got the fan connector right there. There's another random connector here, which I'm not sure what it is. Um, you do have this little thing here. This is a case intrusion switch. So it it basically tells the computer whether you open the cover or not. And if the cover is still open, this little latch, it gets, it's like spring loaded and you can like push it down. Um, but yeah, then you have that. This is the button that presses when you push through that little hole on the back cover. And that is again, like a battery reset button. Okay. You have this connector here. That's for the, um, ethernet port. Okay. This kind of connector you just get underneath and then you can pop it out kind of like a Lego. Then you have this little connector here. I'm not sure what that is. And another connector that goes into the screen. So I'm not sure what this flat ribbon cable is for. I think it's for the power button. Is the power button on this side? Yeah, I think that's for the power button. The power button and that light. Because I don't think this board has the power button on it. I think it's underneath this. And yeah, there's a there is a circuit board under there. I don't know if you can see it, but uh, you can see this one on top, and then you can see there's another one underneath in that little hole. Okay, um, and if you're wondering what this little thing is, this is a water drain or liquid drain hole spout. So if you spill liquid into your keyboard, um, you don't actually want to flip this laptop over because the liquid can drain out that way. Okay. This keyboard does look like it comes out from the top, but uh, I don't see how you would pop it out. So yeah, I'm not too sure. And since I don't need to replace the keyboard, I'm not going to mess with it. But uh, most likely the keyboard goes in from the other side. Okay. Um, I think that's pretty much all I need to show in here. I'm going to clean off the dust real quick, and then we're going to put it back together. If you're wondering, this is DDR4 or PC4 RAM that it uses. I don't know what kind of speed it uses, though, so keep that in mind. If you're going to be upgrading the RAM, you can try different speeds. You can try getting the fastest one if you want. See if it works. Let us know. If it doesn't, um, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> All right, then you have this little board here that connects there. Um, it says... JHLSR1. Um, I guess somebody told me that's called like the Hall Effect sensor or something like that. And I think this is how it detects when the screen is open or closed. Basically, there's probably a magnet in the screen. And when you open and close the screen, that's how it knows. Um, I can actually test the magnet thing. Give me a second. I think I, if I can find where I put that thing that detects the magnet, um, then yeah, I'll show you that. Give me a second. All right, I'm back. So I got this 
magnetic sheet. I kind of sealed it in this plastic, but let's see. Here you can see. So, oops, too much reflection glare there. But uh, you can see that black dot circle. So you can see there's actually a magnet right there. And that's where it goes to there. Um, also, if you're just trying to find where a magnet is, you don't need anything like this. Um, you don't need a special magnetic sheet like that. You could technically just get like your screwdriver tip and you can see like if I put it there, okay, you can see like it, there's a magnet there. Like if I push this, see that? It just sticks to it. Okay, so yeah, there's a magnet there and that lines up right with that sensor. Okay, so let me clean the dust off here. I'll be back. We'll put it back together, power it up, make sure everything is working and that'll be pretty much it. All right, so let me do that real quick and I'll be back. All right, so I'm back. You can see this thing has a lot less dust. I couldn't really get all of it out. I don't know. The camera actually picks up more than what I see. I can't really, well, is it good now? Actually, okay, that's good. All right, so we got pretty much all that dust out. This is all clean now. And then, of course, the fan as well. All right, there you go. Much cleaner than before. And basically blew all the dust out of this thing okay so that's pretty much it we're gonna go ahead and put this thing back together get all the screws back in and hopefully we should be good to go all right we'll just get this bottom cover back on I'm gonna actually work with the bottom first because that was the last part we moved so there we go clip that in then work our way up the sides and the back all right and make sure nothing is getting pinched or squeezed weird looks good all right so let's go ahead and tighten all these screws back in and that's pretty much all there is to it hopefully this video helped you guys out if it did make sure to like subscribe share my channel with others so that they can learn how to upgrade and repair their devices as well and of course if this video helped you save a bunch of money please consider contributing a little to the channel Every little bit helps and allows me to continue making these videos for a living. Keep in mind, if you did bring this to get fixed somewhere, you would be paying someone. So um, it'd be appreciated if you could pass on a little bit of that to what uh, of your savings to me. Um, even like a dollar, like nowhere near what you would have paid if you had to bring it somewhere. So yeah. All right. So let's get all these screws in and we should be good to go. I don't really make too much from these videos, so I don't know. I was kind of considering doing partial like opening and then making it so that only Patreon members could see the full videos, but I kind of felt that was kind of messed up. So please don't make it come to that point where I feel like I actually have to do that. Um, but yeah. All right. Anyways, I'll get all these screws back in flip this over let's turn this back on all right you can see the power button light came up and it's not turning on quite yet oh there we go all right so we should be good to go before the power button nothing was happening at all so it looks like this thing is good all right that's it thanks for watching and i'll see you on the next one let's drop this bye